He initially started out as an electrician in the field and he eventually moved into uh, an office scenario and once he was uh, confident enough and figured he had enough experience, he decided to venture out on his own. And then in 1984, he opened the doors to Odell Electric. He was a brilliant businessman. He was a savvy negotiator. He expected uh, the very best, and really that was, he, was, he wouldn't accept anything less than the very best. And he uh, stated frequently that, you know, he was nobody without the people that were with him on the journey and had his back, and he looked after us. Randy had very strong thoughts about philanthropy. He felt that he had, you know, earned his wealth. It wasn't, certainly wasn't given to him. He believed strongly in giving locally, and he gave careful consideration to any money that he spent. Once it became evident in 2014 that, that his illness was very serious, there was a legacy to leave. discussions about, of course, you know, what, what, he, what his principles were, or, you know, that it wanted it, it to be a place that would be deserving and he wanted it to be meaningful to him. And I said, Randy, really, you know, our electricians are all going through SATE and that would be really the, the key place to leave it. And he said, yes, of course it would. This particular gift will impact literally thousands of students. Right now we're in a world of evolving technology and uh, technological advances happening everywhere. And so um, our curriculum, our infrastructure, our lab equipment all need to be as current as possible in order to be able to support students as well as their employers. The GIF would be used to provide uh, infrastructure, facility, um, as well as curriculum and equipment requirements for the programs in addition to student awards. The people that should be the most proud of this gift are the faculty in the program because they're the ones that graduated the students that impressed Randy O'Dell so much that he wanted to support this program. He would want to be remembered as a respected businessman, tradesman, someone who really wanted to give back to the city where he earned his wealth and so many opportunities.